and humidity at its height. Many folks are staying cool inside or getting in the water. Fox Wells' Carly Olson joins us now live from one of the pools in town where it was a little more packed today than usual. Carly? Hi, Pete. I'm here at the Peninsula Outdoor Pool, where you can see that myself and others have gotten in the pool to stay cool today. And of course, we see many families out here. We also got the chance to visit a local golf tournament where we discovered that competing while trying to stay cool in this heat is tougher than it looks. It was hot and I had swim lessons. It was a first time visit to Peninsula Pool for Todd Jarnigan and his eight-year-old son, Thomas, who's picking up more than a few moves. The front crawl, the back stroke, the front glide, the back glide. I sit in the shade and let him come over and sit on me, and I stay nice and cool that way. It was the first time down the slide and playing pool basketball for others as well, like Margot Hackman and her seven-year-old daughter. I'm off with my daughter over the summer because so I'm a teacher, so just trying to figure out how to keep us entertained and not, you know, going crazy. She gets a lot of enjoyment out of it and it wears her out. She'll sleep better tonight. Meanwhile, at the Columbia Edgewater Country Club, competitors in the LPGA Classic were making a different kind of splash underneath hats and umbrellas and layers of sunscreen. Normally the weather is great. It's a little hot today. Amelia Lewis traveled all the way from Jacksonville, Florida for her 14th year in the tournament, and she knows a thing or two about swinging in the heat. I have a sun umbrella that I carry, so I'm always in shade and then drink a ton of water. Ward Takamaya traveled from Hawaii, enduring the weather to watch his daughter play. My daughter has uh, a pretty good game, and you know we really love watching her. Got a floppy hat. That, that really helps, but especially out on the course, it's going from tree to tree, trying to find all the shade, trying to stay hydrated. With the heat sticking around for the four-day event and throughout the week, places like the pool and splash pads will likely stay packed. It's essential for cooling off. I'm imagining a lot of people here don't have AC. I mean, it's essential to lower your body temperature. These hot days are hard, and uh, I think everybody's doing the best they can. Portland Parks and Rec tells us that while pools are excellent places to cool off, not everybody can swim and they do have capacity limits. So they also recommend visiting fountains or splash pads at your local parks. And you can find a list of where those are located in the web version of this story at kptv.com. Live in North Portland, Carly Olson, Fox 12 Oregon. All right.